Okay, so welcome to uh, part four of the widget and layout tutorials. Um, in this section, we're just going to tackle the um, this this set of widgets, um, this layout. So, uh, and we're going to use anchors, which is a which is a different system than we've been using already. Which we which we we've been using the horizontal fill with children stacking system. So it's the children alignment in conjunction with the fill mode for the children. So the other system is called um, anchors. And so let's just go track down this section of the UI, which is this guy here, section one. OK, so in section one, um, we don't need to set the children parameter because we're using anchors. And anchors kind of stand on their own. Uh, they allow you to create um, uh, uh, container areas uh, uh, without stacking anything. And so let's just go over that and all the idiosyncrasies that go around that. So let's put down a fresh new container. Notice it popped, everything popped away here. Let's make this um, visible. So this is the black container here. And the reason for that is if we look at the size, which is 400 by 300, 400 by 300, our, our parent size, if we go back up and look at our parent size, middle click, it's only 194 pixels by 170 pixels. So the child is bigger than the parent. So one way to avoid your child being bigger than the parent is obviously what we've been doing, which is to set it to fill fill. And that will automatically fill that area correctly. But another thing you can do, especially when you're working with anchors, to avoid confusion, um, if we go back to fixed width, fixed width, you should be aware that there's a parameter on the parent component called in the children page called crop. And that will avoid if anything, if any panels are outside the range of the parent's size, then it will just crop it. And that'll be easier to see if there was a texture there or something. But, but just be aware that the, there's the crop parameter here. And, uh, and, and, uh, and that works well for that. So, <clears throat> OK. So we don't, we're, let's turn off. Well, let's keep crop on for this because we're using alignment. Sure. So, so let's keep the children, the, the parents, children page parameter for crop. Keep that on. OK. So if we look back up at our layout, we've got, uh, let's say, uh, two rows of three buttons. We've got a random button. We've got a logo in the middle of those. And then we've got a row here. So that's a total of four components that we're going to lay out. And I'll keep this handy while we do this. Put it here. OK. So. Let's call this buttons. And let's give it a color. And let's also give ourselves some margins on the top so we can see its effect. So uh, we'll give ourselves a nice, let's give ourselves a solid red color there, orange. OK. And so if we give ourselves our standard margin of five. And now, uh, again, notice it's cutting off the edge here. That's because this is still set to fixed width. OK, so it's not sitting inside of our container yet. Again, if we were to go to fill, obviously, we would get it perfectly fills. Right? But we're going to start using anchors instead. So let's use anchors. And so anchors looks exactly like fill when you have a single component inside of another. Um, it'll always fill to the parent size. However, with anchors, you also get these, um, these controls, which is that, that there's a left anchor. And look at the left side of this um, panel. If I increase it to 0.1, it, it's, now it's 0.1 off. If I increase it all the way to 0.5, now it's it's taking up only 
with the left anchor pushed to the middle and so on. So this is like in U and V direction. So the, the left anchor is, is, is U and the, and the bottom anchor is V, moving in V. And we can do the same thing with the, with the right and left. So I can move this to the left or I can move it to the right or from the top to the bottom, right? So you can create any layout that you want like that, right? And everything can be at the same level. So, so for this, it looks kind of like um, one, let's say um, three quarters. Let's just quickly divide that up. So one quarter, two quarters, and then three and four quarters. So if we're gonna do the buttons, then we know that the bottom section needs to come up to uh, by 0.5, right? Two quarters, one quarter, two quarters. So let's move the bottom anchor up 0.5, okay? And then we want the, uh, the right side to move over. Let's say, let's do something a little bit random, like um, uh, one or three fifths, let's say. So the right anchor could be three over five. Or maybe that's, that's not quite right. Let's try four over five. No, that's too much. Eh, three over four. That looks better, I guess. Okay, so it's just 0.75. Um, now we wanna make another section for our uh, random button. So we'll call this um, extra button. And so now we want our left anchor to match our right anchor. So just cut this expression, make the right anchor one, make the left anchor be that expression. So three over four. Alternatively, we could even, and let's change the uh, look of this to be a different color. Or you could make a, 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 an expression reference, right? You could copy the right anchor, copy right anchor, and then paste reference here. And now, if I come here and change this, we're always going to be perfectly balanced that way, right? Set it back to the expression. Okay, so that's done. So the next section is the ohm logo section. So let's just create a new container and call this logo. Turn on the color. and um, turn on anchors. So as well, uh, one parameter I want to discuss real quick is depth. So depth here is, uh, the reason why we only see logo is because it's randomly on top, but it might actually be below as well. So like if I type negative five, or let's, uh, even negative one would be fine then now the layer is below these guys, which their, their depth layer is set to zero. So you can actually layer uh, your components uh, that are at this, in the same parent. So that's especially useful, I think, for anchoring because you can, you can lay out each lay each component can have its own position and then they can be multiple layers as well. Um, so you, you'll be able to do all kinds of really interesting things, I, I expect. So, um, <clears throat> So that's depth, and so it's like a layer. So the way to think about it is like a cake. So layer zero is the bottom layer, layer two, or layer one is the next layer, layer three is the next layer, and you're looking down at the cake. So the highest number will be the, the layer that you're looking at on top. Okay, so we can go back to layer one. Doesn't matter in this case because we're balancing everything uh, so they're not overlapping. So what's our top our top anchor for the logo is, if you remember, it's 0 0.5, right? It's point, we wanted to go from the bottom to the top, so zero to 0 0.5. And then we, what's the bottom anchor? The bottom anchor is um, 0 0.25, right? Okay. And the next one is the knobs. And so we can probably just copy logo, change the color. and make and call this knobs. 
and we're going to make the bottom acre zero, right? And we make the top acre zero point two five. And just to be sure, because you can't really tell the difference here like this, right? You can kind of see it's it's because that other guy is above. You can just cut it back and see that it is actually bang on at zero point two five. Okay. Okay, so finally we're almost there. But let's say we had one more issue, which is that we wanted the Ohm logo to be a specific width. Um, and or a specific width and a specific height. Let's say it's a logo that we don't want to change the resolution of the texture that we're going to put there, so we want it to be exactly um, uh, uh, pixel size, right? So we can do that by um, by creating by putting all of our anchors in the same location and then offsetting from the from that location uh, in pixels. So so far we've only been using the anchors, which are left anchor, right anchor, bottom anchor, top anchor. But there's also these offsets. So the anchors are express, expressed in normalized values, just like U and V are expressed in normalized values. And then offsets are expressed in pixels. So if we create an anchor right in the middle here, and we can do that by taking the left anchor and moving it to point, or sorry, wrong guy taking the left anchor and moving it to 0 0.5. See how it's moving that edge to 0 0.5. Take the right anchor and also bring it to 0 0.5. And I'm just gonna leave a little bit so you can see what's happening here. And then uh, the bottom anchor is going to be halfway from 0 0.25 to uh, 0 0.5. So that's, that's that's math. So that's 0 0.25 plus 0 0.25 divided by 2. So there, you can see it it's went to the middle. And it's going to be the same position here. So we can actually just copy this parameter. And the top anchor is going to be in the same position. So just do paste expression reference. Okay. So now we've defined this point here, which I'm going to bring this back to 0 0.5. You can't see it, unfortunately, but, there, but we have an anchor in the middle. And so that means that we can grow our, um, texture, our, our, our container size out using pixels. So let's say we wanted it to be 128 pixels wide. So I could say negative 64. And uh, the right offset, and I don't see anything because Everything's been zeroed out. So uh, I moved out to the left, but let's give ourselves a, a bottom offset of, let's say, negative uh, 20 for now. I'm just going to dial this in visually. Let's say that's good. So let's say negative 18, positive 18, and positive 64. OK, so now we've created a 36 by 128. Um, area that's stapled directly in the middle of this section here, right there. And so no matter what happens, it's always going to be there. Um, and well, everything's fixed right now. But if I go to the parent and make this um, change the section width, which is here you'll see that that is statically staying there. And the same would go for um, vertically. So if I were to change the section height, then that texture is statically always that resolution. And it's always in the middle of this section between this guy and this guy. Okay, so that, that was 170. And our width was 200. Cool, so uh, that concludes this final uh, explanation of how to use anchors, or just a really quick overview of how to use anchors. This is looking pretty good now, and we're ready in the next section to start actually replacing all these empty squares with um, uh, these empty widgets with real widgets. <laughs>